Today I'm going to be trying the UHD 710 graphics in Halo Infinity. I'm going to be testing 1440p on the highest settings, and I'm also going to be trying the lowest resolution, which is 1024 by 768 to see if the game even is playable on these graphics. I'm pairing the graphics with the fastest CPU that this graphics chip comes with, which is the Intel Pentium G7400, and it's also paired with 32GB of DDR4 RAM. So starting off, I am playing the game at 1440p on the absolute highest settings, which this is what I'd normally play with my RTX 360, and it ran at 2 frames per second. It could be a little bit better, you know? 3 would be nice. <laughs> um, you can click through pictures faster than it was playing the game, so yeah, it's not very playable, especially for an FPS shooter like this. The next thing I decided to do was, hmm, maybe if I go over and turn down the settings to low, maybe we can get a 60 frames per second Intel HD graphics playing experience. That, that just doesn't sound right by itself, and yep, yeah, it's correct, you, you can't, it was getting 2 frames per second on the low settings at 1440p. And the game really didn't like it, because it also decided to start glitching out. When I say glitching out, I mean stuff started flickering, and turning green, and black, and the bushes that were supposed to be nicely sized were just stretched out across the entire map. It didn't look right. Does that look right to you? <laughs> The next thing I decided to do was leave the resolution at 1440p and use the resolution scale and turn it all the way down to 53%, which is 1357 by 763 resolution. And I also went over and set the minimum, minimum frame rate to 60 to hopefully make it, the game look worse but perform better. And it certainly didn't get 60. Nope, it didn't even get 30. N no, not even 15. It got 10. <laughs> so, still not completely playable at all at this resolution. So, now we have to change some more settings. So, the lowest resolution the game supports is 1024 by 768 And I thought maybe I can get past that if I went for the full screen version and I set the Windows 10 resolution to... 800 by 600 and that is absolutely breaking this. Yes, it broke the game. Stuff was going off the side of the screen. It didn't like that. So that was a slight problem. The next thing I tried was setting Windows 10's resolution to 1024 by 768, which is the minimum size of the game likes and it actually did work. But the issue is we're still using integrated graphics. Even with the 60 FPS minimum in the game, and the resolution scale is low as it goes, well in this situation it's only able to go down to 100%, it doesn't go lower than that for some reason when we're at this resolution, but even with all of that stuff, we're still getting, wait for it, 30 frames per second. You fell for that, didn't you? No? We were getting about 15 to 20. So, the game looks like absolute garbage, and it runs like garbage now too. So that's good. Also, I want to note something. So even though the CPU usage is hovering around 95 to 100%, I don't understand why. The reason why is because when I go over and put my RTX 3060 in here, it gets around 90 frames per second. Granted, I usually lock it at 65, so the rest of the computer is more responsive, but like, still though, even at 65 frames per second, the CPU usage is not as high as it is when I use the UHD 710 graphics getting 10 frames per second. I don't know why or how, but that's something. Now I'm gonna go shopping for a new pair of eyes. 